Yes, sir. I'm Joseph Corcoran, MD, DO. DO. Uh, and where do you live? I live in Tampa, Florida. And have I asked you here as an expert in hospital administration to advise the jury on your review of the policies and procedures at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital during the relevant period? Yes, you have. I'd like you to give the jury the background, a little uh, bit of your background training and experience for offering opinions here today, particularly your, your, your uh, well, why don't I let you start? <laughs> Good afternoon. So I'm Joe Corcoran. I am an OBGYN by background. Um, after finishing my residency in Philadelphia, I practiced in Sarasota for um, about 12 plus years from 1991 to 2003. Um, I am board certified by the American College of OBGYN. Um, I spent my first three plus years working for a large practice. Uh, in March of 1995, I started my own practice uh, with the idea of keeping it small and boutique-y. Uh, that didn't last very long, uh, and the practice actually grew fairly quickly. Um, and by the end of 2000, by the end of my term with the, with the practice, I believe that we had three physicians, three nurse midwives, and four nurse practitioners uh, serving a variety of offices, one of which was here in Venice. Uh, the main one was in Sarasota near Doctors Hospital. Um, uh, in 2003, shortly after I became a dad, um, mm -hmm. I had what should have been routine back surgery. There were complications after the back surgery that ended my clinical career. I was unable to continue to stand, bend, lift, twist. Um, obstetrics is a fairly physically demanding specialty, um, even though the babies are fairly small. Um, uh, so it took about two years for me to get better. Um, and I did that recuperation at home in Sarasota. In 2006 or seven, I started a business uh, education uh, master's program at University of Florida uh, in the Warrington College of Business. I graduated with a master's of science in entrepreneurship and innovation. Uh, shortly after graduation, I was recruited to a healthcare think tank in Washington, DC, known as the advisory board. Uh, it's been around since the early 70s uh, and is now part of Optum Healthcare. Um, I joined in November of 